Let's talk about Notre Dame for a minute <laughs> because that's the that's the big cash cow. That's the one that everybody immediately jumped to. It, as soon as all this happened, they started discussing Notre Dame. And Jack Schwarbeck said on, uh, I forget, it was in April. He was talking to Pat Forty in an interview for Sports Illustrated. He said that the Division One breakup is inevitable. And he then stated that Notre Dame is going to be aligned with those schools that are more worried about academics than they are sports. Now, I don't necessarily know that I believe that. But the next big domino to fall here, because we you got Texas, Oklahoma, and now USC. Those three, outside of the SEC and Big Ten footprint, those are the big three brands. And then Notre Dame is the fourth. Notre Dame already has an agreement with the ACC to play five games against their conference through 2036. Do they try and find a way to break that agreement because their deal with NBC, they have wanted to be independent for a long, long time, right? And they they have been, they have enough of an endowment that they don't have to worry too much about media rights. But the issue that they run into is if you don't hurry up and join one of these conferences, you could get left behind, right? And we'll talk about the playoff and all the implications uh, that this does on that. We'll, we'll talk about that. But the next big domino, of course, will be Notre Dame, what do they do? Do they do anything? Do they just stand pat? Do they continue on? I mean, we we have seen this multiple times. People have been talking about Notre Dame joining a conference for years, and you kind of started to see it in COVID that if they did not have the ACC to help them out, I mean, they would have been in a lot of trouble. I don't know who they would have been able to schedule. They would have had to basically make a schedule from week to week to see who was available. And instead, they joined the ACC, and they play for a conference title that year. I mean, it's it's bananas to think about it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.